today I am going to a spot where I know Mr. Beast filmed in. This is where he filmed his video where he made a tree grow money. Now, am I gonna find this place? I don't know. I have a rough approximate area where it is. My goal is to just find this place just to like absorb the ambiance. Like this is where Mr. Beast got started. This is where it all happened. It is raining fairly hard. I'm I'm hustling to get this to happen. This is a little surreal, but I found it. I found it. This right here is where Mr. Beast stood. He stood here. I mean, this is the place. That is the sign right there behind me. The hackberry, sugarberry tree thing. This is great. Here's the thing though. In the video, I made it seem he was hiding behind this giant forest. And it's just straight empty. I mean, this is a, like a very chill pathway with a... Uh, Eric, my, my whole, whole life, life, everyone's told me money told doesn't, me grow, money on doesn't grow on trees. Like, what do you say? What, what, what is this? Seriously, know, dude, dude, what the heck? I know, I'm tired dude, of people, lying, of people to lying to me. Money, money does, does grow, grow on, on trees. trees. Nope. I guess they didn't want free money. It's all good. Third time's the charm, right, Eric? Right. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Maybe, maybe we, we should, should try, try to like make it a little more appealing. Yeah. You know, maybe, maybe my, my mustache, mustache isn't, isn't helping. helping. People want our money. Dude, I have no idea. That guy just jogged right past it. Comment down below. Would you take our free money? We have these takers together. Dude, we got a couple of takers, bro. Are they gonna take it all? I don't know. Over to the right looks tentative, dude. That guy was like, I want your money. She's she's thinking about it, dude, but she won't do it. Oh, wait, no, no, they didn't take any. They didn't freaking take any money. Wait, wait, wait. So they, oh, they see us. Hey, how are you doing? Hi. There's a tree here. It says free money. What a weirdo. Nope. this entire tree the bottom of it where people could reach with money the sign say free money let's oh i think we got a, got a person <laughs> want you guys to all comment hey guy in the light blue shirt you're really cool for giving everyone else money all right i'm done with that uh so how do i feel you know it's semi exhilarating being in spots where literally i know mr beast walked on and like was like right there uh, but also it's it's a bit anticlimactic in the sense that it is just like a standard park like there's no special magic sauce to this place that caused him to get all those YouTube views it was all in his mind I mean you know if, if you took him right now and you know he had to start from scratch and he wasn't in this town he was just in a different place on the other side of the country he probably would have done the same thing again I mean sure like I think he has his friends and certain parts about this city helped but I don't know it's it's not the city it's it's you and your mind and your creativity and your friends I guess so I'm just gonna take a walk through this park uh, look at the lake or the river a bit and just call it a day this is one of the most biodiverse regions in the country. You got reptiles, trees, birds, amphibians all living here. So this history is actually uh, pretty interesting. Uh, apparently this river was a major trade route for steamboats and commerce from uh, Washington. I assume Washington means Washington DC or Washington, North Carolina. Wow, this trail ended faster than I even thought. Uh, once again, I think it, there's some inspiration you can take out of this because this uh, little tiny park trail is probably one of the bigger ones in this whole city. And it reminds me of where I grew up where it was just kind of boring. There really wasn't that much. And I don't know, it, it makes me wonder like, did I complain too much or did I think, well, I can't do it because I there's nothing to do in this town, and yet here here here's where Mr. Beast was, and yet that is a metal cow off in the distance. It's just about your your skill, your creativity, your talent, 
and all of that combined. Cool metal, metal cow art. Yay. I'm heading back now. It's been raining for hours. Um, could I live here? Maybe, maybe. I, I think I would still have a tough time. I think uh, for me, I care about a lot of things. Um, I care that there's like certain level of activity, certain amount of people, uh, diversity, uh, things to do. And this place does feel like it's on the slow slide in terms of there's not much to do. Now, boredom does spur creativity, but also, you know, I've, I've also been in many situations where I was just super bored and I, I tried to be creative and there's only so much you can do. So for me, uh, I, to a degree, am enriched by some new experiences, new things to do, new people to meet. So, so I don't know. I don't know if I could live here forever. Uh, it really depends on, you know, if there's anything here that I can really, you know, holistically have a good time with. Not just on you about YouTube growth or, uh, you know, working towards YouTube, but also like, you know, socially, like are there sports leagues and stuff to do around that? And so far it seems pretty pretty darn empty and mostly a kind of residential area that's low paced and a college town it's quiet but it's never too quiet it's, it kind of reminds me of uh remember when i went to like central park in new york or any of the parks in new york where you feel like you're the only one there but if you look around there's always someone within eye shot who's moving Greenville is a college town. That means that uh, there is a university here. There are plenty of people here. East Carolina University here. So there's plenty of uh, young college students. So yeah, uh, it's not like a, there's not that much to do. I typically use a meetup to find events. And although it is a weekend, I could not find any today. And so this history is actually uh, pretty interesting. Uh, apparently this river was a major trade route for steamboats and commerce from uh, Washington. I assume Washington means Washington DC or Washington, North Carolina. Time to drive 10 hours home. I don't know, it, here's, here's the thing though. While it's anticlimactic in a sense, it's also not because it just goes to show you that there's no real magic about this place that makes you a top YouTuber. This is just, it's about you and your creativity and your ability and work ethic to make it happen. This is just a pathway. Uh, in fact, it's probably one that in most places of America, you could probably find somewhere like this. The Magic is in yourself.